Okay, we're part way up the hill now. Thought I'd just show you. Got the Mul Mulvin, oh sorry. Mulvin Hills over there in the background. And then looking down to the Vale of Evesham and Pershore over there. Uh, anyway, onward and upward. You can see the top of the hill just up above me there. It's going to take another well, three quarters of an hour yet, probably. Yeah, lovely view here from right three quarters of the way up now. Well, I'm now walking along parallel to the top of the hill. A lot of this is out of bounds, private estate, so I'll carry on like a quarter of a mile along that direction, then over a stile, then up over onto the top. Beautiful view from up here. Getting very near the top now. To bring you back when we do. You see the Mulvins over in the distance there. And all these villages down below. Absolutely a stunning view from up here. Absolutely beautiful day as well. Gorgeous. I think that's Persia down there in the distance. There's the folly up on top of Breeden Hill. The view from the top, the boundary wall there, the trick points just up there and I'll bring you back in a sec when I get to it. Okay and there's a trick point, unusual shape for a trick point, usually a pyramid shape. Uh, it's got on here where different places and the distances on here. I'm just trying to pick out uh, Broadway. Broadway, yeah. It says there, eight miles in that direction. I know I'm heading that way, but according to my GPS, it's about 10 miles. So this is obviously as the crow flies. Anyway, we've got to the top, the highest point on the Witchhaven Way, uh, around about a thousand meters, not about 950 to a um, thousand. Just say on here, actually, 299 meters. In height, so yeah, about 300 meters. So there, there we are. Blown the cobwebs out this morning, and let's move on. Okay, just leaving the top of Breeden Hill now. Just left the trick point, and I'm heading in this direction here uh, to Ashton Under Hill. Uh, bring you back in a little while as we're coming down the hill. Right, just taking five minutes now. Uh, about a mile from Ashton Underhill. Um, I'll come back to you when we get down there anyway. But a couple of, well, one thing I was going to say, um, I've been struggling up until now to do lots of different uh, long distance footpaths. I mean, I've been doing a lot around the Evesham area, but I'd like to go a bit further afield. And there's quite a lot of more longer uh, paths in the vicinity. Uh, named one, at the moment, we're doing the Witchhaven Way, which they're able to do in three day stages. Um, there's also the Cotswold Way, there's the Witch Way, the Three Choirs Way, um, part of the Monarch's Way. Uh, there's quite a few actually. But the problem is always uh, the logistics of doing it. Um, getting back to home each day, which could be quite difficult, or uh, accommodation, well, that was always a bit of a nightmare as well. So, what I've gone and done is purchased. A small amount of camping equipment, so I'll be able to backpack my way and sort it out from there. That should make the whole logistics a lot, lot easier. And so, if we can get further afield and do some more of these lovely paths we got round here, I'll come back to you shortly when we get down to Ashton Underhill. Okay, we're just going through the churchyard now of um, St. Barbara's Church in Ashton Underhill. For path, I actually go straight through the churchyard here. Okay, we're going to turn left just down out of the churchyard here near the War Memorial. Go left past the Star Inn, uh, past the Junior School. It's a small village actually, just one long street. Got a junior school, primary school, sorry. And also a middle school which covers a lot of the surrounding villages. So we're going to go up through the main street here, turn right and follow the fields across to 
um, Sedgeborough. Past the Star Inn. Does very good food apparently. I could go this way on a Sunday to do excellent Sunday lunches. Okay, we're just leaving the village of Ashton Underhill now behind us and heading across footpaths. So we'll get to uh, just this side of Sedgeborough, across the main A46, and then down through Sedgeborough, right through the village. And we're going to pick up um, the Isbourne Way as well as Witchhaven Way for a couple of miles before we head off towards Broadway. I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, just come to the village of Sedgeborough now, just across the main A46. Going to walk down through the village now. Another small village, primary school, church, and a pub, similar to Ashton Underhill. And I'm going to pick up, I'll well, carry on obviously on the Witchhaven Way. We'll coincide for a while, as I said, I think I said before, with the Isbourne way as well, Isbourne, Isbourne Trail, which follows the River Isbourne. And then we'll head off to Junction and head out towards Aston Somerville. I'll come back to you shortly. Just walking along the main street in Sedgeborough. Got a mixture of old and new here. church in the distance, I'm not sure the name of the church, I think it's St Michael's or not, I'll have a look as I go past, and then the Queen's Head pub which I think serves mainly Indian food these days, open and shut quite a few times, another small village library over there, book exchange, a heck of a lot of villagers using them for these now, either mini libraries or to house defibrillators at least they haven't gone to waste not a stand corrected it church is St Mary the Virgin not St Michael's I think that was in another village that's it just up there in the war memorial at the front and a list of names over on the wall of the fallen in the world wars Right, I'll carry on down now, we're heading towards um, Sedgeborough Mill. We'll return right and follow the River Isbourne for about a, mile on, about a mile and a half, I think it is, something like that. Queen's Head Pub here. Uh, Bangladesh and Indian cuisine. Right. I'll just come past the mill, not the mill house. It's not a mill anymore, obviously. Let's go up this avenue now and across the river is born. And I head off out towards Aston, uh, Aston Somerville. Okay, so the point now where the um, Witchhaven Way, and if I just go around the side. The Isborne Way is where they split up. So I'm uh, turning left here, that way, whoop, over there, and heading out, we'll soon be Aston Somerville, and onto Charles Wickham and Broadway to the finish. A couple of nice horses. Hello. It's getting a bit warm, isn't it? Oh, some more up here as well. Hello. I think I've seen these before up here. <coughs> Certainly warming up now. I think by the end of the week, or by Friday, I think, they're up to about 30 degrees. So, one of the reasons I come out today and Tuesday, I usually go Thursday. But I'm not a great lover of too much heat. Certainly not while I'm walking, anyway tend to burn up quite easily so I took this way out and so get me walk in yeah, there's a couple of nice ones here aren't there 
Hello. Another one in the distance as well. We've got, we got a few here, haven't we? Hello. Okay, I'm just leaving the village rest in Somerville now. Didn't show much of it, there wasn't <laughs> not much there to see. There's a few houses, a farm, I think there's a church as well. Back on the footpath again now and heading towards uh, Childs Wickham. So just Childs Wickham and then into Broadway. We're getting near, we're about three and a half miles to go now. I can see the hill and the Broadway Tower there getting nearer and nearer. Always a nice sign. Come back to you in a bit. Still on this track between Aston Somerville and Charles Wickham. Still been in the same field, the field of wheat, and it just goes on and on and on. Absolutely massive. Probably several smaller fields years ago, but taking the hedges of the walls down and God, come up to the turn in a second now and I'll take us up and towards the village there. I can just see the church spire in the background. And then it'll be onto Broadway, you know, about a couple of miles after. And we'll be done. Yeah, I just come up to the small village of Charles Wickham. I haven't done as much filming on this one because the battery's starting to go a bit low. Um, not much about it. Mixture of old and new again. Old houses, new houses. Um, a pub, Charles Wickham Inn. That's about it here. So I'll carry on across now um, and head for Broadway. Okay, I'm going to have to sign off now because the battery is getting very low, it's showing red. So don't forget, um, could you please like, subscribe, and comment? And I'll see you on the next one. Not sure where it is yet, but keep that as a surprise. Okay. Just, so just heading into Broadway now, and that's the end of the, I think it's 41 miles over three days.